to my channel, Health Layer. Dr. Vero here. So today we're gonna be discussing some five incredible green veggies that you should think about incorporating in your daily diets. Why are green veggies so important? Well, actually, dietary calcium, especially from green vegetables, is really good for your bone strength and great for your arterial pressure. So for those of you that have high blood pressure and stiff arteries, these five veggies would be fantastic for you to incorporate into your daily diets. Not to mention, some of these are really good for people with diabetes. So let's jump straight into it. We're gonna talk about these five awesome veggies and that will be all. Veggie number one is cabbage. Veggie number two, spinach. Then we have broccoli, cucumber, and zucchini. I actually only eat four of these because one of them makes me a little uncomfortable. Okay, and not uncomfortable because it doesn't taste good because I actually used to love it, but it makes me uncomfortable because it makes me feel a little bit of pain. So I'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, so let's start with cabbage. Why is cabbage good for you? Cabbage is one of those veggies that has a lot of beta carotene. Now beta carotene, as well as a bunch of other green vegetables obviously, beta carotene has been found to have anti-cancer properties. Uh, it turns out that it decreases the activity of cancerous cells. So this is a really good benefit of eating cabbage. Something that you guys should know though, for those of you that suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS for short, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, beware of cabbage because it can sometimes make your symptoms worse, as well as other gas producing foods. So you wanna be wary about what you're eating, pay attention to your diet, see what you ate that made you feel sick. Cabbage is actually one of these veggies that I cannot tolerate, and I learned my lesson when I was studying for med school in Grenada. I actually used to love coleslaw and I ordered this dish with coleslaw and I hadn't had it in a very, very long time and it made me cripple to the floor in pain. My intestines were incredibly painful. I got bloated. I could barely touch my abdomen without cringing for pain and ever since then, I've never touched it. I couldn't confirm if it was a cabbage or not but I would much rather be safe than sorry because the pain I felt that day was so excruciating that I swore I would never touch it ever again and I have not since. And it's been about almost three years and a half since I've actually had cabbage. Uh, and I haven't had another episode, so I don't know. There might be something there. Okay, number two, we have spinach. Why is spinach good for you? Yes, of course, it's packed with minerals and vitamins and all these antioxidants, but one thing it has is dietary nitrates. And why are these good for you? Ni dietary nitrates are actually good for your blood pressure because they are good for your arteries, they promote the expansion of your arteries, so it's gonna decrease the amount of, um, how do I say this, resistance from the arteries that your heart's gonna have to push against. So it's gonna relieve the workload on your heart. It also relieves the stiffness in your arteries. If you think about it, and if you have a heart condition and someone's ever given you a medication, a nitrate is something that is very oftentimes given to pr help protect your heart, to dilate those arteries, take work away from the heart and make it easier for you to pump blood to the rest of your organ systems. So this obviously makes a lot of sense. Another thing, spinach is very high in vitamin K. And vitamin K is very important for your blood thinning, it promotes your clotting factors, but if you're taking warfarin, which interacts with the amount of vitamin K in your body, you need to be careful. Because if you're taking warfarin, make sure that your intake of vitamin K is the same every single day. At least try, because warfarin does interact with vitamin K, which is something that you guys need to be wary about. This is why people taking warfarin are sometimes generally checked up very often, okay? All right, number three, broccoli. Why is broccoli so good? It's actually considered a healing veggie. Uh, it actually contains sulforaphanes that have been found to promote protein synthesis that fights against cancer. So this is a great added benefit. The broccoli is also jam-packed with tons of vitamins like vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin K as well. Next, we have cucumbers. Now cucumber to me has been a huge part of my diet for a very, very long time, but it also has a role to play in the spa. Uh, which is obviously one of my favorite things. <laughs> okay, so why are cucumbers so good? 
Cucumbers have been found to be really beneficial to those with diabetes. It turns out that it helps promote the decrease in blood sugar. On top of that, it's 95% water, so it has very little calorie intake. The fibers in the cucumber actually promote a feeling of um, fullness, so you'll eat less, so it promotes weight loss, which is great. And another thing is that if you drink it as a juice, it's amazing for your skin. Uh, so of course you're gonna use it in face creams and in ma facial masks and all these, you know, pure exfoliants it's amazing in spa days uh, so aside from tasting delicious being watery promoting fullness and all these other things it's also great to use on your face and to drink it as a juice to promote healthy skin uh, so this is a great added benefit of uh, cucumbers oh last thing to mention about the cucumber it's in the same family as melon squash and pumpkins so that's very very interesting okay last but not least we have zucchini I love zucchini I um, I put it almost on everything. I love slicing it and putting the slices in the oven and just grilling them a bit and then putting them on as sides to my meals. So zucchini, obviously another incredible green veggie, also contains beta carotene, also contains all these other vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin K, all these things. A really good benefit of vitamin C is that it also helps reduce blood pressure. It's good for your blood because it helps reduce strokes just because it helps make your blood a little thinner. Similar to vitamin E as well and it's obviously delicious and you know a lot of these vitamins uh, the way I used to remember it in in medical school is there's a fat man on a dick so you need fat to absorb specific uh, vitamins so if you're not eating fat these vitamins will not be absorbed by your body the vitamins that need fat to absorb is a dick so vitamin A vitamin D vitamin E vitamin C and vitamin K you need good fats to be able to absorb these five vitamins so it doesn't matter if you're eating these green veggies all the time you're not going to get the benefit if your diet is fat restricted so it's not just that you're lowering bad fats you need to include good fats in your diet things like olive oil sesame oil peanut oil sunflower oil healthy fats are incredible for your body they're very good for you they help absorb nutrients you need from food so don't mistake diets low in fat as healthy you do need fat to absorb vitamins which are crucial for your health okay all right so that's about all i have for you on my blog i actually do discuss the same things i just mentioned here step by step and i even give you three really cool recipes one is for a green smoothie another one is for a broccoli salad and last but not least we have zucchini uh, so if you guys want to check that out that's amazing if you guys have other recipes of your own that you love using let me know always 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 know that this is not medical advice this is medical information and this is dietary information and physical fitness information for you guys to learn something cool, maybe learn something new, and maybe find some motivation in wanting to eat these veggies. I gotta tell you, a lot of veggies I used to hate eating when I was younger, mostly because I hadn't found a way to actually enjoy eating them. Until I found the way to cook them properly to my liking, that's when I started enjoying these veggies. So if you guys still don't like zucchini and you like broccoli, blah, and you know, cabbage, blah, well, try it different ways. Cook it different ways, include different things in it, mix it up with different uh, combination of foods until you find the one that will make it likely for you to eat them more. Include these five veggies in your daily diets and I assure you, you're gonna feel so much healthier. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment or you can dislike too, that's fine. And follow me on Instagram. I post so many stories. Stay involved with me, interact with me. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, what you like, what you don't like. I'll see you guys next week. See ya.